Um, the decision was quite easy. Once I've arrived at the ground at 10.30 for a pitch inspection, um, it was quite clear from walking on the pitch that it was severely waterlogged. I've took advice from various people within the stadium. We've got the, uh, the groundsman who knows his pitch really well. We've got the weather forecast um, from the groundsman. He, you know, he's been working on it since 7 o'clock this morning and four hours and the water's not going anywhere. So it must be severely wet underneath, which is causing water not to be to leave in the pitch. And then I'm just looking at the the weather forecast and the forecast is, is rain all afternoon. And with that decision um, taking place safety out of it at this moment in time, I, I'm not sure we can get the pitch playable by three o'clock. Could I delay the kickoff even a couple of hours with the water that's coming down? If the pitch had a 50-50 chance, I would have given it every time it, it had. I've got to understand that Charlton supporters are travelling up from London and maybe some have set off. So I've got to make a decision on that as well. And at this moment in time, the pitch had no chance. Um, and even with the weather the way it was, um, I can't say even at five o'clock tonight that the pitch could be playable. And I guess you must be as disappointed as everybody else. I'm very disappointed. I, you know, I've, I've worked all week to, to referee on a Saturday. This is the same as the players who are... Um, ready for a Saturday, and it's an important game. You know, fifth round of the FA Cup is special, um, and for two teams that are, are are fighting relegation in the Championship, this is a, a a wonderful relief. And you know, a special time to get into the quarter final, and when it can be rearranged, it's, it's always tough because there's many games ahead and and European games, and which won't allow the game to be played at certain times. And it's disappointing for everybody, but when the game's replayed, we we'll hope it's going to be a wonderful spectacle.